Welcome to this video of the Serenity Club One Bedroom Master Suite with an ocean front view at the Haven Riviera Cancun. Come with me as I take you on this tour. We're in building Uno, which is for the Serenity Club guests. And this suite has enough space that it actually starts right around here. And we're just gonna show you everything. This is arguably the best room in the facility because it's at the very end and you don't see anybody. Just a lot of dirt and sand. Over here you have your own personal fire extinguisher. It hasn't been inspected yet this month, so Godspeed. And now here's their room, 1301. Little lights here to let them know if you want to keep your room dirty or if you're more of a clean kind of person. And when you get to the property, they'll put on a little uh, uh, wristband here to show that you are their property while you're staying at their property. And that piece of property will just open up the door here. So the first thing you'll notice here are these emergency instructions. So if there's a fire and you don't feel like jumping off, there's a staircase you can take. We've got a nice little painting here depicting a portal to hell opening up that you can enter. That's just lovely. And now we've got some space here for kind of a little bit of a wet bar area. You'll notice that there's a little escape hatch here. So if you don't feel like uh, exiting through your door and you can fit through here, you can exit this way instead. So you just got lots of nice options. For some reason, they put our dirty dishes there. I can't imagine why. A little place there for your shoes. This is all complimentary because it's all inclusive. You get some nuts something called M&Ms, and some other interesting snacks. You'll get four bottles of whatever, whatever alcohol you'd like to have as soon as you get here. Some glassware, and if you don't like it there, you can just put it right here. That's very nice. We've got a little fridge here that they restock daily, and your butler can help you have it stacked with whatever you like. A little space here that looked like they had plans but never fulfilled them. You got a sink. And if you want to be a chaos agent, you can just turn off the water to that sink for the next guest before you leave. That's really nice. Here we've got some viney things and some psychedelic swirls. A little trash bin. Some vases I assume you can just take home with you because they're not nailed down or anything. A little place to have some breakfast. That's really nice. Room service is, of course, included. They give you a little postcard. A ladder. And about three elevenths of a circular couch. So you can just lounge on that and enjoy your stay. Over here we have what I have to assume is a deconstructed dream catcher. Didn't help me with my nightmares last night, but that's okay. Now we're just gonna walk over to the bedroom. So you'll see here, we've got a patch of blue cinnamon rolls that I don't recommend trying to take a bite out of. So I thought that was very lovely, if not edible. We've got this little bedside table with Plenty of drawers that you can just use. Just, there we go. So lots of storage space there. A very comfortable bed. I would say slightly on the firm side, but that's kind of how I like it. A little loungeable right there. Another bedside table. And here's where you can change the thermostat. <laughs> I don't know my Celsius. Here's the room service menu for anyone who wants to pause the video and scan the QR code. And you've got your television here. 
a little lamp that is stimulated when you tickle it. I thought that was very cute. And then we'll walk into the master bathroom. You've got a little panel here to connect Bluetooth so you can listen to music in the bathroom. You've got one of the his's closets. And you have another closet for the other his in your relationship. You have a safe to store all the drugs he smuggled into the country. I thought that was very nice. And then just a place for more clothes. So lots of space for all that stuff. Here we have a little vanity, which I thought was nice because it's hard to find people with vanity in Cancun. Here we have a sink for one of the hisits and a sink for the other his in the relationship. Now going over here, we have the restroom facility. I thought it was nice that you have a phone, so as you're evacuating, you can order more room service to fill back up. And then you'll see you've got a little button here if you just, you know, grabbed a little snack and another button here if you ended up going to the buffet. So just two different options for flushing. Got a nice bath here with some jets as long as you fill up enough water. I thought that was lovely. And then you've got a shower here. Lots of room, and you'll see you've got two shower heads in case you're traveling with a significant other, or you happen to be traveling with your Siamese twin. I like that. So now we're just gonna step outside here. Now, as I may have mentioned, all these Serenity Club style rooms come with their own butler. So that butler is always available. 24-7. They just lounge right there. And look at that beautiful ocean front. A couple things I love is that you can spy on your neighbors. That's always fun. And if you're feeling creepy, you can watch people getting massages over here. So lots of voyeuristic opportunities all around. Oh, look at that lovely ocean. So you can again have a meal out here. You can fill this bath up and it comes with some bath salts and some bubble bath stuff. We plan to use that later. And just look at this view. This is why it's arguably the best room. I would say even better than the presidential suite that doesn't have a corner like this. You could watch the sunset in this direction and the sunrise, and what I'm told is the opposite direction. So just a lovely facility throughout, and despite all the humor, it is actually a fantastic resort. And let me just say, Edith is the greatest butler in the world. Thank you, bye-bye.